Hi, my friends. I'm a little tired, so please forgive me. Boy, I've been going all day today, just nonstop. I'm trying to get everything ready because I will be leaving San Diego and heading off to wherever. <laughs> I'm just going to let the, uh, they used to say let the universe guide me, but let the uh, God creator and uh, the angels guide me to where I'm heading and to see some wonderful things. I just got to get away from San Diego for a little bit. I've got to, uh, I don't know if I'll ever be back. Sometimes I leave places and I never turn and, and uh, it just depends on what happens around the real, what plans that uh, our creator has for us and you know what, maybe the Lord might be involved in that. So angels high command. So, so anyway, so that may be leaving here. So I've been busy all day trying to get the things I need, you know, a propane for my vehicle, not for my vehicle. It's not a propane vehicle, propane for, uh, to, you know, for burning and stuff like that for fire. And then, uh, restocking some of the stuff that's stolen from me like a microwave and that was stolen that's a long story about that one i don't know if you remember that because some of you are new to my channel um had over about a thousand dollars of stuff stolen by some of the homeless which by the way just an update on that one is that um yeah unfortunately the individual that i tell you sinner karma you're gonna pay that price unfortunately uh he was been to jail three times the guy that led that operation against me, um, been to channel three times. I did ask the Father and Lord to uh, split up everybody in that group because there was a nice gentleman, Happy, his brother, uh, this other guy. This guy was married, just a whole gang of people, and some were good guys like Happy, but they disrespected me. So I actually asked that request to have them all split up and uh, to become better gentlemen and ladies. What they did, and guess what? I should have done a video. There is nobody down there. And these people have been there, some have been a year and a half to almost two years. And uh, almost a year. And then uh, then along came said John and along came James because this had to happen. They were they're causing trash in the place um, and disrespecting people and just it was not a good for any of them. So it's actually for their own benefit to have this happen. So anyway... Uh, one guy named Nick, uh, he went to jail three times, I guess, in this process. Lost all his stuff, um, that he'd stolen from me even. I think he sold some of it as well. So Nick is gone and just, I don't even, I'm not trying to point them out. I'm just trying to make sure so you understand the real people. I use names, they're real people. And so I see this all the time that, um, you know, yeah, it's unfortunate. But it, like I said, it's best from their interest. So that's enough about that. So, uh, well, okay, so this is why I want to keep this positive because I'm tired of being negative in this negative world. You feed negativity, you're going to get it back in this world. We talked about that, right? So, um, remember, I try to take everything in negative to the positive. Everything. Everything. We talked about that. Okay, it's like spells casting back and you see reflected or casting back positive. Anyway, so now I'm rambling because I'm tired. <laughs> so, anyway, so here's the deal. Now, remember I did this YouTube of asking what was... If you had me a seven wishes, would you turn your back for more? Would you hold on tight to what you have? Would you try to change the score? You remember the Night Ranger song? Well, I said you probably, like me, I only need one wish. And we had some great answers. I mean, there's several of you. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Geez, so apologize. Uh, you know, Robin, he had a great answer. Uh, Amanda had a great answer. And geez, I always forget his name, the young gentleman. Um, Oh, I got a picture of his icon. He has a little green icon with all that stuff. And uh, he said he asked a wish to, he'd asked for a million wishes. Well, <laughs> he was just kidding. He then said, my, my one wish to be asked for a million wishes. Well, okay, I came down to one word. So there is no right answer, by the way. So let's get that out the bat. There is no right answer. I just said what I thought would be the right answer. Okay. I said one word. You ready for it? Freedom. Now you say, well, what do you mean freedom? Why? Why wouldn't we love things? Because freedom... Freedom is a key, like uh, the country, United States of America, is based off of freedom. I want freedom, and the Father and Lord and angels and the higher command know this, that, that is, this place is like a prison, right? No offense, it's a beautiful prison, but uh, I want to be able to free, to free to have true free will. Because you know that we kind of are living in the matrix. It's a script and all these things. I don't mind doing my role to help the people and learning process and all these things. But I do not, I want freedom true free will where I have the freedom to help people around the nation, around the world actually, the freedom to 
uh, freedom of expression, be able to talk, which you can't do in this society. You know, freedom to express myself, uh, the the freedom to live, uh, live the best I can be and become the best person I can. And freedom in many ways. You know, I'm trying to think just freedom all around, you know, because like this is a dome, remember? Free of the dome, king dome, the king's dome. See, there's all these things been written about the dome. Uh, you know, they said they're living in a dome. So, to, you know, to be out of this dome, this realm, the permanent everything, to be truly free and, and free to actually serve God and create the best I can because I'm limited all these aspects as well. And and I know those are probably reasons behind those shackles and those those things because I've explained some of those reasons why we are limited in certain roles. But just truly free to just 100% freedom. You know, freedom to, um, you know, in many ways. You know, I, I lost my thought of why. But anyway, just freedom to love, freedom to to do uh, and be the best I can be and be who I am. And, um, you know, not in a bad way. None of these freedoms that to hurt other people, just truly freedom free. Does that help that make sense? Because that's in our country, you know, is about freedom. Everyone wants to be free. I just want to be free in Prince. I just want to be free. And so I will do my mission that I need to do. But ultimately, I want to be free. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like the I'm trying to use the military knowledge. You know, we're here to help these people and help them become free as well. And uh, and to, uh, you know, but that's, you know, I want to have that, that true freedom. If that makes sense. Because we don't have 100% free will. You know, this has... Some people think we're being used. Some of the reality decoders, some say we're being used. Some say we're just nothing but in a test tube through aliens or some kind of things like this. And so everybody has that sense that we're in a control. Uh, and you remember reading the brother, uh, uh, he always talks about living in the human prison realm. You know, he calls HPVs the human prison bars, the people trying to get you into the thing. So he feels like he's trapped. He's ready to move on. And... Uh, and I think that you know, many of us have shown to our Creator that we'll not harm people. And that's part of the things that we got to make sure that we are uh, respectful and uh, do no harm. And do, true to do no harm. So, the, you know, some of these uh, doctors that uh, they said do no harm and they call us home all the time. And uh, so, anyway, so not to go up with that because that's the ultimate thing. I want free to actually just play the piano and, and you know, not be lazy, but just free to really let loose and explore God's creation, this earth, and and build uh, freedom to play music because these dark forces have closed me down every direction, you know, uh, bank accounts, uh, jobs, everywhere I moved. It's like one brother, Brittany, says, man, he said, I can tell if you're truly in the spiritual of this thing with, uh, with the Mandela effect or everything because he said, said, no offense, some of you, he said, boy, you're just living the blessing. You're just kind of thinking it's kind of a fun game here. He goes, I can tell right away unless you're getting uh, blocked and cornered and this and that. He goes, you know, because his story, man, I'm the stories he said, you know, like one thing, he'd just gotten his vehicle fixed to uh, Mandela Affected. That's the guy's name, his channel. So he just got my vehicle fixed, and he said, man, you know, so I was going to start doing, like, some things, like the the the, uh, the thing in Britain where it's, like, um, kind of like Uber and stuff like that, a little bit different. Um not Uber, shit, I'm trying to think. Well, anyway, delivering packages and stuff, you know, being a delivery driver. And uh, and anyway, kind of like DoorDash, I think, but more of also just general items, you know, you know, like things about Walmart, some house, household items and stuff. Well, anyway, man, he was then, he said, man, he just got his vehicle fixed, he's ready to grow, goes down to, <laughs> no, he was, it had been in the shop for a week. Goes down and picks up, sitting not within a block. Boom. Some guy runs into and smashes the thing. So tolls it. So he has to, he can't get that job. He also had a contract. Sounds like Kirk. He said he had a contract to make, uh, he said initial pay was 10000 Then something like uh, another 1000 This 10000 the first check. is something about, he's doing this new online business uh, through Iokim or what. Some kind of online thing. This new and made a contract with somebody. He said, Check is 10,000. Boy, the next day, boom. He said after the day that the contract had already been signed, supposed to be a catch, check, and I said, we're not sending you the paycheck because the laws have been changed here in Britain. Um, sounds like Kirk. Laws change all of a sudden out of nowhere.
boom. Not kidding you, I've had it happen in Boulder, Colorado that I had laws just change for no reason. I'm like, why did the law just change? I've actually had um, I've actually had judges sitting in courtroom go, going, wait a minute, it's kind of like in Delphi, like, when did they change this law? And they, they deal with the law every day. Every, it's kind of like they're having a Medell residue. They're like, I'm seriously, there was a judge, I can't remember her name in Boulder. She's like, she's, uh, she's, uh, she goes, I need to talk to you. Uh, some attorneys here with uh, Mr. James, uh, you know, we'll have him uh, wait outside or, you know, sidebar this one, you know, wait outside while we discuss, you know, this law is not what I remember. She's like, she's like, something is, is not this. And even my, even my attorney goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, man, I don't remember this law. He goes, I thought I heard about it because I thought that was like 10 years ago or something. He said, I, he goes, this, he goes, this ain't making sense, this law. He said, they've, they've changed the law. Well, we knew it was. Mm, evil system, remember? He can change times and laws and, and all these things. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right there in Scripture, the Christian Scripture. Times and laws will be changed. Uh, laws, actually man's laws. They're not I mean, other laws beyond that. Physical laws, uh, things as well. During this revelations, plural, not singular. I get so tired of people saying, oh, even the stoutest Christian says revelation. Revelations S. I knew that even before I studied having the Bible. Anyway, so this, so I want to move on about that. Um, what I really want to talk to you about this, this is important. I started running this so long because it's really important to me, and I think it's I think you find it interesting too. Is that uh, I was looking at how much time is left on my recording. I'm going to have to get a new card. You kidding me? Well, anyway, <laughs> sorry about this. Uh, here's the thing: is I just noticing it. So in the future, I'm going to do this if I keep doing videos before I head out of town. Uh, so, anyway, so here's the thing that this law of attraction stuff, this new age stuff, oh, it's driving me insane. I mean, everybody's got this. It's like a, the Bitcoin of soul coin. Let's call it the soul coin, the Bitcoin soul coin. Take a bite out of it. You know what I mean? Take a bite out of your soul because here's the deal. I can't judge this. I don't know all the details, but I'm going to tell you my feeling this. This is a big no no. The law of attraction. Because I'm telling you in common sense of why. That this whole law of attraction, manifest reality, boy, this is a this is a nightmare. Because here's I'm explain to you why. Hopefully, I get all the details behind it because I had to think about this through. I think it's a long time, right? Okay. Start out with the law of attraction first. It said it will attract your your soulmate, your twin flame, your fire, your this into your life. Do you know? Let's think about that in a minute. I've actually, they've done a back study on this. I can't remember who did. They found that 80, 90% of those people that manifested themselves to attract a, a, a law of attraction, to attract that person, they're actually just broke up within, oh my gosh, sometimes a month, six months. So yes, it was a, it was a twin flame. The kind of flame that burned up there, you know, within a month of being around each other. Uh, nightmare stories, right? Some moved clear across the country, some traveled clear across the world to say, I found my, you know what I mean? I found my twin flame, and all of a sudden, boom, explodes. Now, I'm not trying to poop it, so if you found one, that's awesome, because some things are perfect, and, you know, they do meet that way, right? So I'm not trying, I'm just telling you what I think, and, you know, this is just Kirk's opinion, that freedom of speech I just talked about. Now, so, the law of attraction. So here's the thing is, too, think about, in this romantic sense, that do you really want to attract something artificially into your life not saying these people are artificial souls but have this artificial reality around it because look if you you know let nature take its course let god and, and creator move these things and guide these things because if you're playing games with this and pulling strings outside of this you might attract the wrong things right i've seen this many times now just think about just a common sense remove the god and creator and the spirituality from this that it's kind of like the guys in the weird science remember the movie where they put a bra when he's got a bra on his head and he's going to manifest i can't remember who she was she's actually a very gorgeous lady and it'd be you know not in a, a flesh sense not a soul sense uh because you know that we talk about that beauty's truly in soul but anyway but uh he man he, they manifest this lady by weird science and you know the the, the story turns out pretty good she's means this great lady and and tries to help and stuff like that. But see, that's like the same thing, putting a bra on your head and I'm gonna track this into my life and things like that. It's very unnatural, it's artificial. 
there again, I mean, it's so, it's very artificial. I mean, you know, my grandparents didn't do these things and have to need that to have, you know, great relationships. I wouldn't be here through that normal progression of nature instead, you know, sitting around with a bunch of bras on the head and say, I'm going to attract, uh, you know, somebody else into my life versus the ones that came to, to naturally through the way I was born. See, so, you know, people in front of me, you know, do they attract certain things? No, they're in certain places, certain positions by God and Creator, okay? So, and also, it just seems really artificial. Everything's artificial here anyway. You know I mean? It's more of, and it's also more of a, a selfish thing. Would you really want to, because some of them don't even talk about the other person be uh, knowingly about this law of attraction. They'll, they they'll attract your, your spouse, your future wife, or, um, or husband into your life. And, because that's how bad these people are hurting. I understand that very lonely because... I get lonely and, you know, so I depend on you brothers and sisters and to keep me going. But so you're, you're, you're attracting something, something that's not maybe an NPC, not player character or something. You know, I mean, not to be uh, offensive, but we know they're real. Uh, but he calls them human prison bars and peace, soulless ones, whatever. You're attracting that into your life just to fulfill yourself. So what makes that different than, not to be gross, than a, uh, uh, a doll? You know, I mean, a doll that it can smile, has its face, an artificial robotic doll. I'm not just talking about the plastic doll. I'm talking about somebody artificial doll. You know, they can talk and this and that and do all these things. Well, you may just manifest yourself an NPC to satisfy your personal thing. Now, so let's move on about the law of trash as far as attracting love in your life. Because, you know, it always comes down to love, money, or uh, power, Right? So let's move on to um, let's move on to the the uh, the law of uh, well let's just say power and money right boy how selfish I'm not kidding you I have not heard one of these well you know become you know get that millions that you wanted and do those things and you're going to be a millionaire and and they're getting me 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 it's all about me I've never heard anybody say. You know, even these ones that run their law of uh, manifestation, they got their little YouTube channel. They're ready to go to you to donate or want more information. Wait a minute. So you're trying to sell me a pyramid scheme that you want me to pay money? So that's your attraction is to advertise some kind of manifestation thing and then have me give you money? Right? I thought you said you knew how to do this, how to manifest this. See how it already? And I've talked to some, but boy, they come quite very quickly. I'm like... Yeah, I said, uh, I can't remember one of the guys. He's a really younger guy. He's been doing this for a year, three or four years. And he's got, oh my gosh, like 600,000 viewers and this and that. And he's like, you know, he's a real good seller. And boy, boy, he's ready. He's got, he'll actually send you off to another website and boy, donate here and give me some money there. Not even donate, I think he says, pay for this. The initial stuff is free, but if you really want to know how to manifest and give me some money. So it's not even a donation, like, hey, donate me with what you can afford. And do this, and then some just do it for the egotism, be power. Well, I know how to manifest, and you don't, because it, here's so it's always about me. It always comes down to, well, you know, I want to be rich. I want somebody in my special life. I want a new car. And it's like praying to God, and I want a brand new car and all these things. I mean, it's no difference in praying, you know, to God or Creator, because you're man, you know, trying to do that manifestation the same way. And I'll tell you what, Saint in the Beast system. It'll deliver. It'll deliver quickly. Yeah, you ask and you get that thing, and boy, you'll be uh, blessed to unblessedness. I've seen it. So there's no difference. So it, I, you know, so so let me give you an example of you never see them. I want to manifest helping those starving children in Ethiopia. I want to manifest those children in the hospital not having cancer. I want to manifest uh, where where uh, Putin doesn't attack the people in Ukraine, that the war stops. See, it's always about them first. See, it's always the selfishness. It's not about, that says everyone, I even said this basic ones, even about them personally not to wear a mask and say, uh, you know, every I've asked him this. I said, like, even when I get, he's been a little smile, he goes, Kirk, you need to manifest this, and yeah, that right, and this and that, and said, don't worry about being selfish. And I said, well, what about, man? he said, if you're so good at this manifestation and stuff, why haven't you, Manifest the, uh, why don't you manifest the mask so that people can breathe and children can breathe? 
Oh, you should have just come very quiet and hmm. Boy. Thank you. Let me make sure that Okay, I just hear a beep and I hope it's not my my car or the battery's low. Anyway, I'm gonna check that in a minute. But so Yeah, I'll check in a minute. Well, anyway, uh, so anyway, so then I came to getting this really roundabout crazy answer like, you know, well, we're working on that or something or you know, something really weird, like, I mean, just a bizarre answer, like admitting that there's no way. So they're always going to answer to you because their YouTube won't let them drop it. And, you know, could not. So I want to see him. I said, show me no mass tomorrow. Manifest. You're so this manifestation. You're a god. You're a god. Can't do it. I'll make that bet anybody right now. I'll make a bet. Anybody out there, if they watch this YouTube, have a lot of traction, they come across this one. I want you to manifest a mass immediately, and I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you. I tell you what, I will give you my vehicle. Um, promise, I will. Let's see, some value. Give you everything I have, and I'll walk up and down the streets. Uh, I'll walk 500 miles. I'm not kidding you. Carrying a sign that says "Manifestations Real" and "Kirk's an idiot." I'll do it right now. I'll carry that sign, clear across the sense. So, boy, just everybody manifest. See, and that's what people don't realize. They think that. There's always a price to pay. I'm not kidding you. In this universe, they said, you know, even the one guy said, well, it's all energy. He goes, you know, even this, they always have this thing behind it. It's like, well, the Lord paid a price, didn't he? A huge price. He had to pay the price of life and all these other things and his own freedom to not live virtually on this earth and all these prices. He paid big prices for you and me. And many of uh, Socrates paid a price. Uh, you know, we had ancestors and everybody pay a price. We've had many people fight for a price, for truth, or just for to this country. We have this freedom-blessed country, and they had to pay a price to, you know, it's an unfortunate price, and I know it's horrible war, but uh, I wouldn't be sitting here without those prices that were paid. My ancestors had to pay a price to, to stay alive and, and work hard in those farm fields. Those prices were paid. So, you know, they, these people think there's no price to pay, and I get what, there's a price to pay. And they may not like it. I knew a guy that was manifest. He had manifested over five million one time, one month, and boy, did he said he made a mistake. Some guy came, pound, knocked on his door, and says, "God sent me to come talk to you. And told you to quit doing what you're doing." And some stranger he goes, "What?" Some stranger. This is about uh, three years ago. Oh my goodness. He said within a month, lost all his money, um, uh, and boy, he said all his friends, family, everything's gone. Boom, just exploded. Yeah, he was enjoying the high life and then his low life. He said he was out of his mind. So he apologized to God and says, I won't do this manifestation stuff anymore. I apologize. So there's a price to pay, folks. Okay. And uh, so what else about that? Now, if you want to manifest, go for it. And, and throw it back to me. Say, well, Kirk, you're completely wrong. Because, I mean, I'm not 1% I'm not solid in all these things because I work within my reality. I know the dimensions. The time frames that I'm aware of through with the God, the Creator, and the Holy Spirit, and the angels, that um, you know that this is a no-no, right? But you know, if you think I'm wrong, go for it, because I ain't gonna free will. You know, you do it, and you pour it back to say, "Oh my gosh, Kirk." But step one, can you do something for somebody else? Can you get rid of the mass first before you go out and make yourself a millionaire? I'd appreciate that. Because, uh, I mean, these children wearing a mask. Or just get rid of the, the virus, even. You know what I mean? Just get rid of the virus, please. And also get rid of uh, the threat of the stock market crash. And get rid of uh, the war in Ukraine with the Russia. In Russia, Ukraine. And uh, get rid of uh, all these things. Can you do that for us, please? Because I, I like that. But, you know, maybe we only have one wish. So what else? Um... Boy, there's so much to say. I was going to say more about that, but that's okay. I think you got the basic idea. That my opinion, anyway. I mean, you take my opinion, throw it in the trash, because I don't really care. Because I'm going to operate my reality. And my reality is I'm going to do the best I can. Be a good guy. If you don't like that, I'm going to get your own reality. <laughs> that's just funny. And I, I, we got some commenters that are attacking me again. It's funny because they, they always have this this spin where and they're not being naughty, they're just like, you know, it didn't happen in my reality. Well, that's not right. And they go in there, you know, it's like, 
really? You can tell by behavior off the bat if somebody's just not always there, right? And uh, anyway, so I had a great evening. So I'm going to wrap this up because I'm getting kind of tired. And I, this is longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be 10 minutes. Being now I get you on for 25 minutes, I apologize. I'll try to make these shorter because you know I don't have time for that. But I think it's important. So, and if there's anything, there's anything real quick. I'm going to pause it just to make sure. Hold on. Well, I think that's about it, my friends. There's a lot that happened today. I'll have to talk to you about Malcolm Weaver. A uh, great guy in Colorado that I've been spoken to, a former colleague, and something like that. You'll find this of interesting and some stuff about him. He's a solid Christian guy, had a, 12 kids, a dozen, yeah. So I got to talk to him today. Boy, I was just almost tears, so it's just enjoy talking to him. And we hadn't, we hadn't hooked up in probably three years, four years. And it was good to talk to Malcolm, things going good for him, talking about some of our former colleagues and uh, working the software field and things like that. Boy, I just had a whole busy day. Anyway, so, all right, uh, love you all and God bless.